I want to make a video that is, in terms, one of those nostalgic, reminiscent videos that people like to express about something that happened once in their early childhood or just retrospectively talking about their childhood in general. And as you can tell by the title of the video, this is going to be summed up in four words. I miss the 2000s. And by the 2000s, I'm talking about from the years 2000 to 2009. For those of you who were in kindergarten all the way to, let's say, your first year of high school, you guys could relate to me. So I'll just go on ahead with what I believe is the best years of my life. The 2000s shaped my entire childhood and of course shaped the years of puberty, so to speak, moving up and growing up into this world of drama and chaos. And I could reminisce over the many things such as movies, TV shows, music. So I'd rather just start with several things. Um, Sports. For instance, in the 2000s, I was a sports player in several little league teams, or local teams, so to speak. I was in soccer and baseball. My dad coached me in, in a couple of teams that I played in, and I actually thank him for getting me out of the house and not making me so obese like most of the kids around me these days. TV shows. This is another big one. All the TV shows that came out in the 2000s or TV shows that came out in the 1990s yet had repeated reruns on television. Uh, Disney Channel, Cartoon Network, and um, Nickelodeon. Those were the three big channels for pretty much myself and everyone else out there. And I could name all of them. Uh, hey Arnold, The Proud Family, Spongebob Squarepants, Lilo and Stitch the Series, That's So Raven, um, let's see, Kim Possible, Avatar, The Last Airbender, that was a very big one, Jimmy Neutron, The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, uh, The Fairly Odd Parents, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, um, some of the animes that also came out on Cartoon Network, yes, I got interested in animes in the early 2000s. Um, Pokemon was quite a big one. Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, that was okay as well. Um, May Sonic X, also good. And maybe a few others like Bleach or so, Full Metal Alchemist. Even though I was kind of off the ends on what I watched on different channels because... There were often certain years in which I would focus on Disney Channel alone, and then I would focus on Nickelodeon alone. As for Cartoon Network, um, I was kind of forbidden to watch Cartoon Network after a certain incident in my childhood where, well, I'm just going to keep that a secret. And if you really want to know what it was that happened, comment privately to me. Also, movies were another big one. All the big movies that came out, mostly animated shows, the Spongebob Squarepants movie, Hey Arnold the movie, um, what was it? Um, the Transformers series, yes, I had a little bit of a guilty pleasure, so to speak. Um, what else could I see? Chicken Little is another one. My mind is a little bit blank right now, but for those of you that know of any good movies that you watched that I could have watched, please comment below so that way, hey, that was a movie that I had watched and yes, thank you for reminding me and I thank you so. Music was also another big one because the 2000s was a decade in which I was musically diverse with Whatever genre I was listening to, or rather, whatever genre my parents were listening to. Pop, hip-hop, dance, rock, modern rock to a certain extent. Uh, this was all before I became a die-hard, straightforward rock metal listener. Um, yes, even I had guilty pleasures back then for the Black Eyed Peas, and even to an extent, Nickelback. 
or anyone else that I could think of. All these hip-hop groups, you know, that were before the auto-tune, before the cash sellouts and the trends that had dominated the internet in the 2010s. And I'll even admit, a guilty pleasure of mine, Elvis Presley. Yes, while most kids were listening to all that um, dance stuff, I was mostly listening to Elvis Presley. I mostly blame Lilo and Stitch, the movie and some TV series, and of course, one of my grandmothers who is a big Elvis fan. But that's just me. Also, politics wasn't really interested in it. My parents never talked about it. Uh, though, I do remember one time in 2004 for my fourth grade class that we had a mock election in which I voted for George W. Bush. Why? Maybe just out of blind favoritism because he was from Texas. And of course, that's something that I kind of regret. And anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is really a video that is nothing special and reminiscing over the 2000s as well. Specifically in my childhood, I would also lived in a mobile home and for the first four years of living in this house specifically, I can remember pretty much all the family reunions that I went to, all the trips that I took to Disney World, to uh, Universal Studios, just to a bunch of places across Texas, and for a short time, Mexico. Comment below on what you loved about the 2000s in terms of culture, in terms of your personal life, and everything else. Well... Better get to school. Got a little less than two hours.